So you would take your thumb and put it in the middle of your palm and put your fingers over it. Then we would have a visual model. When we can see it, we can create awareness to change what the brain does. So the spinal cord comes up and is represented by the wrist. It carries messages from the brain to the body. The brain stem and the limbic areas, which work together to regulate arousal, like fight, flight, freeze, or when we have strong emotions, these are below the cortex. The fingers represent the cortex, the higher part of the brain, which allows us to think, analyze, and reason. The frontmost part, the prefrontal cortex, is actually the part that regulates the subcortical, limbic, and brainstem areas. So regulation is important because if we're tired, exhausted, or stressed, we can sometimes flip our lids and lose our ability to be flexible, to be tuned in, and balanced. The hand model is useful because we can help ourselves and kids just by naming what's going on in the brain. You can help kids understand when they think they're about to flip their lid and help them to manage their strong emotions. In simple terms, explain that the thumb is the amygdala that reacts to strong emotions. When they flip their lid, their emotions are in control. But they can use their breathing to bring their brain back online.